Alright guys, give me my follow up video to my push glow by ZRC USA.com. It's an onboard igniter. Really, really cool. Love it. Saves you from having to bring a bunch of stuff to the track, park, wherever you're riding this thing at. Um, it could be on my set on your Savage, which is what I have here, or any any nitro vehicle that requires a, a glow plug to um, start it. <clears throat> so basically, this is all the crap I got to bring to the park. All this, all this, but you have to have those two things, which is my not my fuel and my remote. I need this, my tuning screwdriver. I need, uh, let me see what else, my temp gun. That's it. All this stuff here, which is a knife, multi-tool, extra battery for my for this igniter. This igniter, backup igniter, glow plug wrench and nut wrench, extra glow plug. All that, don't really need anymore. Because <clears throat> for me, if my igniter dies on me, I'm done for the day. Um, don't really, uh, I, don't, I, don't really use, I don't really carry a whole lot of stuff on me when I go. I like to run. Um... If it dies on me, that's it. I'm done for the day. No big deal. But carrying all this extra weight on me is not something I enjoy doing, so I'm not going to do all that anymore. So here's my extra igniter. I mean, my, brand, my new igniter. I bought it brand new. Um, I'm going to connect it to a glow plug. I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. Connect it to, the, to this glow plug here. Let's see. Barely, barely glowing. This thing's been charging overnight. And that's with a fully charged battery, an extra battery, fully charged. Here is my backup igniter, which um, hasn't really been charging that long. I'm going to show you guys. Connected to there, a little difficult to do. It's older. See how bright that's going? Cool, right? You guys would think so. Don't even really need an onboard igniter. But the problem with this thing. This thing dies so quick. 1400 milliamp dies. <clears throat> you know, you guys have engine problems on your truck? You're going to need this quite a bit to get started. I mean, not tuned properly, you're going to need this. So I got two of them with an extra battery. Crap. This doesn't work. Dies. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Battery, I don't know. Extra one, crap. Don't need it. Not dealing with that stuff no more. So here's an onboard igniter. Take out the fuel tank, which I already took the clips off, so I'll show you what's going on here. Connection to the base, <clears throat> there, onto the top of the glow plug. Here is the uh, wiring here, red wire, goes down into the, into the uh, here, back of the push glow. Black wire here that's kind of coiled, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's coiled up there. That's the grounding wire that connects right onto the top of the bolt on the motor plate. Runs down there. Up through there, up through there, separates there if I ever need to take it apart. Wire, wire, wire. Back of the push glow there. And then on the bottom of the, um, I don't use a reverse module, so I would jump a little hole right into the bottom of there. Receiver box, <clears throat> got it in there. On the inside of the receiver box, I got an extra slot. I'm using an HPI RF30. So I have an extra slot that's used for lights or wherever. Here's the here's the Futaba connector it comes that the uh, push glow comes with. Got that right into the extra slot. If you're not using any of that, I mean if you're using that extra slot for lights or whatever, you guys can buy separately from uh, eBay or wherever a uh, splitter. You can use this right into the battery or the extra slot. And you can split. Cool. Didn't I didn't need to buy this, but I got it just in case. Got that. <clears throat> so. This, uh, like I said, this can be used on any natural vehicle, plane, anything. They have a push glow and a switch glow. Push glow, I, I believe, is more for vehicles, nitro vehicles and such. The switch glows, I think, is more for like planes and something. Could be wrong, but um, push um, ZRCUSA.com is where you want to go. Here's a little bit of contact information. I'll give you guys Mike or John over there at Push Glow. Really cool guys. They help me out a lot. Really cool guys. Here's uh, Michael's card. Um... Oh, I'll focus, but uh, Michael Sardo or Sardo ZRCUSA.com, pushglow.com, switchglow.com. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. On the front of this thing, there's a little LED module there. It's blinking, it's gonna blink red. Actually, when we turn it on, it'll blink red. Turn on my battery. 
That thing is about four bucks. I got it for free. They gave it to me. They're really cool guys. They gave it to me for free. I got lucky. Um, basically, it will stay blinking red when uh, it's working. And uh, another light will come on if your glow plug is dead. Um, this thing can be turned off for 12 all the way up to 60 seconds. Pull that button down for two seconds, it'll turn off. So it does not drain your battery. People think it will. It's not going to drain your battery. Um, if you if you have a bad if you have a bad truck and it's not running good, you have to use this a lot. Of course, it's going to drain a little bit of battery. Of course, but it doesn't drain any more battery than than using your remote to turn left or right or give it throttle. Same amount of juice. So, <clears throat> um, here's the alligator clip that are, I got. Two other models. One goes through the fin here, connection onto the glow plug. You can't really use it on Savages because there's not a lot of room to get in there, if at all. Another one that they sell the thicker gauge wire with them protecting on it that goes over and clips onto the top of the glow plug. Um, but this was the best one for me since my cooling head is so deep. This was the best one for me. So I'm going. Uh, they recommend that you put a tiny piece, a tiny bit of a. Um, <clears throat> See, I already got it put on here on the tip of the um, the glow plug, about a sixteenth to eighth inch of um, tubing, because you want to stop the um, alligator clip from touching the base of the uh, glow plug. So I'm gonna connect that now. Sorry about myself, so bear with me. Connect this here. So what I did was I connected. To the alligator clip. I'm gonna go remove my um, my screwdriver right here. All right. <clears throat> so what you gotta do for me to for demonstration purposes, is, you don't have to do this regularly, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this so you guys to see kind of how it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the um, um shoot. Let me see here. Maybe just when I sure as I get this connected, I'll um, show you guys what's going on here. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry, disconnected. So there. For 12 seconds, it'll stay on and it'll turn off. Okay. So what I can also do is turn it off for 12 seconds. See, it's turning on. I'm going to turn it off. All I got to do is hold that white button down there for two seconds. It'll turn off. There, turn it off. That's it. So, only problem I have with this thing is these wires here, they're kind of flimsy on this model with the alligator clip. A little flimsy. So, um, <clears throat> but, you know, I, I'm thinking that if the thing ever goes in a crash or if I hit the cooling head, you know, the wire on top of the cooling head here, it's going to break, you know. But, uh, usually use a roll cage, not on today, but you only have that problem of using a roll cage or something that's really going to protect this. Like, even like this thing here. It's not that sturdy, but um, it'll it'll definitely protect it. Zip tie everything up really good. You won't really have that problem. Does not drain your battery. People are thinking it is. It's not going to drain it. Um, like I said, if you if you have a bad engine and you got to use this thing for 60 seconds at a time or plus, you're going to have problems. But usually, if you're using it for 60 seconds plus, your engine's going to be flooded. So um, <clears throat> not not a really big deal if uh, your engine's running good. If you are having engine problems, um, just want to make sure that you turn this thing off as soon as you're done with it. Um, using it, well, as soon as you turn this thing off, it will not kill your engine. Um, pretty much ignites your your glow plug, obviously, and then that's it. Turns off. Just basically like using one of these. As soon as you disconnect it, your glow plug stays lit. And that's it. So um, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Or go to pushglow.com. Um, this push glow here is $34.99. Indicator on the top comes separately for $3.99. $5 worldwide shipping. Um, go ahead and contact Michael or John over at uh, pushglow.com, drcusa.com. Phone number over there is 818-709-0268. Um, I don't work for them. Um, I'm very excited about this product. Um, <clears throat> I was got really, really tired of having to use these igniters and bringing all this stuff to the park. So I knew there had to be a better way. And in my opinion, this is the best best thing out there on the market you can get. Um, so go ahead and order it. Thanks.